Hi there, welcome back to Battlescape, I'm Baron. So this time we move on to the Firewine Bridge. The journey took 8 hours. Great. If you insist. Let's see what we can find here. Monsters, what's that? A zombie. My down the side. Okay. Pure life ends here. Dead. Okay, there's a whole bunch of zombies actually. For the fallen! And you are okay, Khalid. Use the sword. My blade will cut you down the side. What would you have me do? You have need of me? Okay. Your wish? Did those zombies drop anything? No. Too bad actually. Move if on. You insist. Uh one hundred what did they give? Oh, only sixty five XP. That's ten per person. Damn you. This is nothing. Oh, a signpost. Firewine Bridge. Yeah, I know it said so on the map. Mm. Let me guess. Nothing new here. Dualex Tower. I will not go there. Oh, wait a second. There was someone. Oh, I saw you. I all saw right, you. Right. Who are you? Benton. Okay, Mr. Benton. Looks like we're going to have a conversation Hi, here. Friend. Oh there, I am Benton, most devout fellow of the great broken Ilmata. I wonder if any of you follow the path of the crying god? Uh, no. None of us worship Ilmata. So none of you venerate Ilmata. Well then, we must rectify this at once. Listen closely while I tell you the, wonder, the wonders that will come once you have converted to Ilmata's faith. Uh, okay, now, as you've probably heard, Ilmata is the god of suffering. Most people immediately perceive this as the suffering one must endure themselves, but trust me, the stories you have heard are most likely wild and unrealistic. Suffering in the service of Ilmata does eventually come, but lo, it is the most joyful of sensation and opens your eyes to wisdom. Once you have suffered in the service of Ilmata, you will have your eyes opened to the evils of the world. Evils such as avarice, greed, lust, perversity and most especially magic. By magic I mean not the holy power granted by Elmata, but rather the wicked powers wielded by sorcerers. Hey, like myself! Uh, excuse us, but some of us are sorcerers. Some of you are sorcerers. By all that is good and holy, you must stop your evil ways. Magic can only lead to pain and misery. But I thought you loved pain and misery, you know, suffering is nice. It is a wicked art, I tell you, a wicked art. <laughs> Though I find it painful to stand in the presence of such vile necromancers, I will continue my sermon. All you have to do uh, to become a faithful of Ilmata is to cast off your worthy possessions. You will wander the world and suffer in the place of others. You will spread the words as I have, s I have spread it to you. Well, what do you think of it? Will you cast off your possessions and become a faithful of Ilmata? Uh... Sorry, old man, but we have better things to do. You are foolish in your decisions. Your mind obviously clouded by the numerous vices all of you must engage in. I pity the whole lot of you. Goodbye. Yeah, well, okay. Screw you then. Und willst du nicht auch gläubig sein, dann schlage ich dir den Schädel ein. Yeah, well. Okay, uh, we will leave in other gods, I guess. Well, it might have maybe nice and all, but I don't think we could do much good in the realm if we wandered around, you know, just suffering. The realm suffers enough as it is. Maybe we should try to ease the suffering. Imata probably would understand that. Um, 
Wait a second. I didn't want to go down here. Go up again. What time is it? 1 p.m. It's the 63rd day already. Oh, okay. Two months. But we're already on level 6. So this is nice, I guess. We're not wasting time here. So where would we go from here? Nothing new. Okay. There's not much going on here, I must say. A few zombies. A devout follower of Ilmata and that's the end. Where's the bridge? I thought it would be a bridge somewhere. I wanna buy... I feel like buying a bridge now. Uh, I probably have enough money. 24,000. See, there's no no exit to the east. Oh, we should save. I don't want to have to. Hey, move it! Oh, you can't fucking move it. Oh, this sucks. Uh, it's it's you barely see it, but obviously there's some sort of ledge here. We can't get on. No way. You gotta be kidding me. Who designed that map? Fellow. Try to I've find that. No, everybody. Well. Try to find traps. I would love if she could do that, like, on a standard procedure every time. You don't have to tell her, especially. Or you'd have to tell her, especially, to stop, you know, looking for traps. I don't think that there will be any traps in here, but in a dungeon, it would be nice if she would do it, like, always. On general principle, so to say. And it would be nice if you could be hiding in the shadows and looking for traps at the same time. I don't see a reason why you shouldn't be able to do both. Okay, so we are back again. Great. Um... What's that? A cobalt. Well, that one. So there are two more. They die easily. Hey, take it. Oh. Looks like some sort of bird died here, but a huge one. See? Oh no, wait a second. Why did I pick this? I wanted to pick this. Thank you. you have me do? Um, explore.
What is that? Nothing. Okay. This looks looks like some sort of I don't know mountain. What you want? Your wish. See, she stopped. If you insist. Let me guess, we can't go, go up north here. No. Great. Great, great, great. Um, okay. Then return to that spot here. And why aren't they moving uh, when you look at the map? That would be nice. It's not like I paused the game or anything. I think there's a smith somewhere, I guess in Berghurst, that can make uh, armor out of that, those ankeg shells. You get armor like that here, ankeg plate mail, very nice. And I guess not that heavy, no it only weighs 25, instead of 100. And you're being stupid again. that and we were able to get there somewhere no we're not well there surely is a way somewhere we just haven't found it yet Wait a second, here? No. Hurry up! What would you have me do? Uh, yeah, well, I'm a little bit curious right now. How do I get in there? Um, let's go to that spot first here. Let's see what we can do here. Where's Khalid again? There. Okay. Yeah, it's like I thought. There's no way to. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now I get it. Are you still trying? Yeah. yeah, but you know, down there it probably doesn't work. This way. Oh, what I would you have that. if you insist? Because now uh, she's the last one in the party. Uh, she only finds a trap, and everybody already stumbled into it. But okay, I don't think there will be traps in here. So that obviously is the bridge. Oh, who are you? Who? Oh, Hello there, Edgar Allen. A hail and hearty hello, my friends. A fine day, is it not? 
It was not always so serene in these parts, though as you can no doubt discern from the ruins about us all. Tragic loss to the area if it was some 300 years past. I have tales though, tales of heroes and villains that have come and gone amidst these stones since that prosperous time. Could I entreat your ears to hear one? It is an epic I have been working on for some time, based on the rumors I hear and the strange things I see in my dreams at night. Would you care for the story this eve? I, it would be a fine time to hear your, ta your tale. Sing on, young bard. Wonderful. Stand relaxed and I shall relate it to you. It is a poetic treatise I should like to call The Knights of Day's Hands. Hey, I know the title needs work, but the soul of the piece is right and true. I have a tale, a tale to tell, of knights so bold in dungeon hell, and slumber broke before the shore of Nightmare's Reef when dawn was no more. A story true of courage, a story true of courage lack, and footing lost on virtuous track, and trailing far but near to fear, a vengeance screamed through night to ear. The swordsmen came by two and four to take their fight to evil's core, with confidence in might and right went bravely forward spreading light. But light al alone can't clear the path when suffers all a hellish wrath. From deep below when fires came, still none above dare speak the name. Together fought, together fell, till good had won those stories tell the cursed tale of treachery when evil stole the victory. Heroes bold betrayed behind, from friend made foe with golden mind, to take and plunder riches won. It was evil new, though old and done. In glory slept the hero knights, but knife to throat did snuff the lights behind their eyes. A simple deed, it was honor dead as killed by greed. Strong enough to break a vow, alone with gold he struggled now. To leave his dungeon deed and hide, alone he fell, alone he died. Widows wept an orphan's cry, and bards of sing of maidens sigh, for want of heroes lost below to haunt and sleep with ghostly glow. On God the God eternal stand, though neither sense nor though, ne though neither see nor sense, the land before their eyes beyond their age, they wait with unbelieving rage. When one of four all turns all for one, the injured soul takes solace none, in death's release so stand they will. Till honors need someone does fill. To get together enter together fall. This as the vow agreed by all. All must stand and wait in time for one that ran to face the crime. I've I have not been, but I've been told of nights of days gone past so bold to warrant heartfelt prayers from thee, that rogues returned might set them free. An interesting piece, young bard. Is there any truth behind it? Ah, but there is some truth in everything, is there not? I cannot attest to the validity of the tale itself, as I have only culled from hearsay. I only know for certain that it makes for good patronage when I pass my head. Strikes a chord with many, it does. A rousing tale. Please take this ten coal that I might finance your further travels. You are certain to kind. A very good day to you on your travels. Well, ten gold is nothing to me. I could give you ten thousand and still wouldn't feel it. Great. I kind of have the feeling we will meet those uh, dead heroes. Probably. Ah, we shall see. Oh no, cobalt! <laughs> we are trading arrows. <laughs> oh well. Move on. Tempest gave us victory. Tempest gave us victory. Your wish? Fire away. Have me do that already. So now we have a few more arrows.
212 out of 220. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it though. Okay, uh, yeah, well. This is how we get up here, obviously. Let's move on. See? Okay. No exit to the east. Uh, wait a second, where is it? There. Oh, I thought it really not injured. Quiet. Why do you always attack my cleric? Your life ends here. Oh, trying to get away? Thank you. Could you heal yourself? No. Could I heal you? No. Could you heal her? No. What would you have me do? Okay. Looks like we have to rest again. Okay, we are restocking on on arrows here quite badly, quite heavily. That's good. Great. Your wish? There's more to explore. you. Milium, greeting little ones. You have the look of experienced travelers and a few of you look to be fine warriors. Warriors. My name is Melium. I am the Sword Coast's most skilled swordsman. You may have heard of my name. I'm quite famous after all. Uh, no, we have never heard your name before. We'd just like to be on our way. You have never heard my name? Why? That's impossible. I'm famous. Think hard. You have heard of Melium the Masterful. Nope, can't say that we've heard of anyone named Melium. <laughs> Masterful. Are you insulting me? You had better not dare to insult me or I'll show you the metal of my blade. Once I've drawn my sword, I'm honor bound to wet the blade. Ah. Well, why don't you draw your sword then so we can see who the better swordsman is? You or our party? Sorry, you've done it. You'll be sorry for doubting my skill. So very sorry. Okay. Hurry up! Everybody attack. What is your command? Uh, try to entangle him. And what you? Would you have me well, do? get the fuck out Very of here. Well. Didn't work, did it? <coughs> no. I can, but try. Yes, or only present authority. You've a task. He saved. Did he save for the spell? You should try. And yeah. Hurry up! Just in case it doesn't work. Oh really? Who did the damage? Probably I did it. Medium damage taken. 
By whom? By me? Those were the magic missiles. Who did the damage here? I don't know. Well, he is dead and we what wasted the spell. Great, so what do we get? All right, all right. Uh, why did I take uh, that armor? It's just non magical leather armor, standard leather armor that we needed. Long sword plus one. Gauntlets. Don't know what they do. Oh no, wait, I didn't want it. I didn't want to throw it away. It's still magical and all. <sighs> Inventory full. Your wish? Okay. Uh, how much XP did I get for him? One thousand two hundred. Okay. Firewine bridge. I already know that. Thank you. Okay, nothing new here. Very well. Let's see what we get. Can we go down here? Well, there's nothing. Oh, there's an entrance, see? Well hidden, I must say. Well hidden. They're gonna drag you under when I'm done. He's driving me mad. Oh, please make it stop. Make him stop. He's screaming. Ah, shut it up. What's wrong? Who's driving you to madness, lady? If you want help, we're going to have to calm down. You're going to have to calm down. He... It's in my head. It won't be quiet. Just keeps on whispering and whispering. Do you see this jar? Do you see it? We see the jar, lady. Now just calm down and tell us what's happening. My companions and I, we explored the Firewind ruins and we found... We found this jar. It, it drove them all mad. They hacked and they cut and the blood, so much blood. They're all dead now, and only I'm left. The voice, it tells me to say the name. If I say the name, it promises great rewards, but I won't, I won't. Uh, what do you want us to do, lady? How can we help you? Poor Karsa cannot be helped. You can't help Karsa. You must run, run fast. Soon Karsa will not be able to resist. Soon Karsa will say its name. Then it will come and there will be blood, my blood, your blood. Uh, just give us the jar, Kasa. We'll know what to do with it, don't worry. No, Kasa will not give the jar. The jar is Karsa's and hers alone. Get away. Get away or Kasa will say the name and we will die. Um, okay, give it to us. You not take the jar from Kasa. It's mine, mine. Stay away or I say the name. Hmm. I don't know. We take it. No, Kark! Oh, mighty Kark! Okay, she died for saying Kark. Who is Kark? <laughs> he is Kark. I am free at last. Mortals bow before you die. Know that you have released Kark, the mightiest of the Ogre Mage. Your death shall feed my power, for now I am weak. Stop it. Hurry up! Um, apparently he's protected. Hello. Um, can we do something against that? Dispel magic on him? Bingo! What would you have me do? Fire away. Your wish? Oh, 
Your lightning bolt won't save you, my friend. See, that's a stupid thing with lightning bolts. When they hit an, uh, you know, a wall, they always come back. Sucks. Okay. Oh, dead already? 3500 XP. Yay. It's just a regular longsword. How could a mage use a longsword? A uh, knave's rope. Don't really need it. Protection from fire. And fireball. We all need don't need those those things. Damn you! Inventory is almost full again. Looks like we have to. S oh, you still have space in inventory. Not anymore. Looks like we have to. S I don't think we could ride that. Uh, looks like we have to sell st things again. Yeah. Okay, so let's explore the rest of that area here. Okay, nothing here, and how about here? No, wait a second. What's that? Dogs? Oh, I can't really not in this. Wait a second. C uh, can I help you? What <laughs> would you have me do? Better. Now you can use the sword. If none are better. Your wish? Obviously isn't using it, I don't know why. Doesn't no. matter. Hurry up! Okay, well looks like we well. uh explored everything now. And I guess the entrance was here. <laughs> 